Elon and his team at Neuralink have recently made the claim that their brain implant technology will be able to cure blindness. Elon said that even if someone has never had vision before, if they were born blind, Neuralink will allow them to see the world. And this isn't one of his far off down the road claims. Neuralink is pretty confident that they can restore vision to the blind as one of their first major accomplishments, along with giving paralyzed individuals the ability to use a computer through a telepathic interface. This could be happening within the matter of just a few years. But is that really possible? And if so, then how would it work? This is something that we've speculated on in the past, but thanks to Neuralink's recent show and tell event, we have some pretty concrete details on how the company has been working to solve the visual cortex. And the results so far look pretty promising. So let's talk about it. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Neuralink is a brain computer interface or BCI for short. And more specifically, Neuralink is in the category of invasive BCI, which means that it has a direct physical connection into the brain tissue through a surgical implant. This is by far the most effective way to read signals from the brain. Getting up close and personal provides the highest bandwidth connection to the neurons. Neurons are all of the little cells throughout your brain and your nervous system that send and receive electrical signals. Those electrical signals make up the entirety of your human experience. Every sensory input from the external world filters into your brain through neurons. Every motor command to your muscles is sent out through neurons. Hence, Neuralink, a connection point between the neural network of the brain and the world of computer technology. Neuralink taps into the neural network by implanting a series of tiny wires directly into the tissue of the cerebral cortex. That's the outer layer of the brain. It's only a few millimeters thick, but it has a very large surface area thanks to all of the folds and wrinkles in its structure. The cortex is incredibly dense with neurons and they are divided physically into different control centers. So the front area is associated with higher mental function like decision making and creativity. The top section is motor control and muscle sensation. The visual cortex is at the back and that is what we are getting to today. By the way, if you're enjoying the content we create here on the Tesla space and would like to support us, check out our Patreon page. We've got some exclusive perks for our Patreon supporters, and it helps us grow the team and continue producing this content. In most cases, when a person loses their sight or never even has it to begin with, it's due to some kind of damage, disease, or dysfunction of the eye, the organ that receives the light input from the outside world and converts it into an electrical neural signal. The part of the body that receives that signal, the visual cortex, is still there, it's just not getting any input. Neuralink can use their R1 surgical robot to implant 64 tiny wires directly into the visual cortex. Each wire contains 16 electrodes for a total of 1,024 channels that work as both input and output for the N1 implant device. The N1 is just a tiny computer with a Bluetooth radio. Elon Musk will often say that it's basically just a Fitbit or smartwatch in your skull, and that's true. The N1 can record neural activity through every channel and transmit that data wirelessly into a computer. It can also work the other way and stimulate neural activity by injecting current into the brain through every channel. The idea is that through this stimulation, Neuralink can bypass the eye and generate a visual image directly into the brain. They would take a video feed from a digital camera that is streamed wirelessly to a smartphone, which would convert that image data into a neural signal and transmit that to the N1 implant, which would send that signal through electrical current directly into the neurons of the visual cortex. So in addition to their Neuralink, the person would just need to wear a GoPro style camera on their forehead and have a phone in their pocket. Obviously, this will require a profound understanding of how visual processing works inside the brain. And 
That's what Neuralink is working on figuring out right now. They have to decode the input and output signals that create a visual image. So how do you do that? Neuralink showed us two test monkeys with N1 implants wired into their visual cortex. And what they do is have the monkeys sit in front of a black screen and show them a series of white dots moving around to different locations. They use infrared eye tracking to know exactly where the monkey is looking on the screen. When the monkey looks directly at the white dot, he is rewarded with a sip of a banana smoothie. Using the N1, they can monitor exactly which neurons are activating as the monkey looks around. What they discovered was that every cell in the cortex is representative of a tiny part of the visual field. So, your perception of the world is a mosaic of signals from all of the neurons in your visual cortex. This is really good for Neuralink because it means that they can tie specific areas of the brain to specific areas of visual perception by correlating the areas the monkey fixated on to the neuron that fired. And then they can start working the system in reverse. Neuralink started working on producing visuals in the monkey's brain by stimulating the neurons through the electrodes. What they found was that stimulating a particular neuron would create a flash in the monkey's visual field. Since the monkey has been trained to fixate on the white dots on the screen, they would naturally look towards where they had perceived the flash. Then, through the eye tracking system, Neuralink would know what part of the visual field they had activated with that particular neural stimulation. That all sounds kind of crazy, I know, but you can think of it kind of like if each cell in your visual cortex corresponds to one pixel on a monitor. If you activate that cell through an electrical stimulation, you turn that pixel white. If you activate the right cells in a specific pattern, then you can create a black and white image on the monitor. That is kind of where Neuralink is at right now. They can turn darkness into light, and they can target where that light appears in the field of vision. So, they are pretty confident they can create a relatively detailed black and white image. Adding color, that's a whole other thing. They're not even talking about that yet. Obviously, that is going to take an enormous number of electrodes to stimulate every cell in the visual cortex and create anything as detailed as what we can see through our eyes. More electrodes means a higher density image, aka more resolution. That's going to require upgrades to both the R1 surgical robot and the N1 implant device. The thing about the visual cortex is that it has some very deep folds. So, to be able to reach every neuron, the wires are going to need to go deeper into the brain. Right now, they are getting about one millimeter of penetration. The R1 robot uses a combination of a camera and an optical laser sensor to identify the blood vessels on the brain and avoid hitting them during an insertion. The Neuralink team said in their Q&A session that they believe in the future, by using ultrasound and photoacoustic sensors, they can safely implant several centimeters deep into the brain matter. They are also working on increasing the bandwidth of their implant device. Right now, Neuralink has already set the record for the highest bandwidth connection through BCI with their 1024 electrode channels. But with future iterations of the link, they hope to increase that to as many as 8,000 channels per device, using even thinner electrode wires. And they seem pretty confident that by implanting two of these future devices, one on each side of the visual cortex, for a combined total of 16,000 electrodes, they can fully turn the lights on for someone who is living in the dark. And that is a really powerful thing to think about. Anyone who's familiar with Star Trek is going to know the character Georgie LaForge, a blind man given the ability to see thanks to the miraculous future technology of the 23rd century. How crazy is it to think that we might not be 200 years away from accomplishing something like that? We might be closer to 20 years out from curing blindness. And that is obviously just scratching the surface of what a Neuralink might be capable of. Elon Musk's vision for this company is to invent a product that is safe, reliable, affordable, and can be scaled up to high volume production. He wants to build thousands and then millions of these implants and make the procedure as accessible to the public as laser eye surgery. At a point in that timeline, we are not only just using Neuralink to restore vision to the blind, we are using it to augment and enhance human vision to a point 
where it would be like having the most amazing VR headset directly in your own brain. There is some crazy stuff on the way, but what do you think the future holds for Neuralink? If you like this kind of video, let us know in the comments below. There are so many things we can talk about in this field. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.